I'd like to uh, thank the members of the Selection Committee at the St. Louis University. Uh, this is truly an honor and I'm uh, really pleased to receive it. I do feel, however, that there are many others who are, I'm sure, far more qualified than I am for this award. I believe that the award recognizes the spectacular teachers I had, the leaders I've worked under throughout my entire career, and to a great extent the performance of my teams in mission control. Uh, there were several experiences that come to mind. I believe the first is the leadership uh, of the teams in mission control that uh, made the Apollo Lunar Program possible. In particular, the Apollo Lunar Landing where we uh, finally shut the engine down with less than 17 seconds of fuel remaining. and We were in the process of counting down to a land abort decision. Another one that comes to mind is the uh, direction of the Mission Operations Directorate. We, uh, we lived and worked in a very high-risk environment, very time-critical, uh, ch many challenges, uh, decisions irreversible. Uh, throughout the history of mission operations, we flew uh, over 100 missions, and uh, I had the responsibility for uh, the development of the teams, operation of mission control, and in my later years, the entire organization. I believe it was the culture that was embedded in this organization, characterized by discipline, morale, toughness, competence, commitment, and teamwork. These were the characteristics that got us to the moon and kept us flying through to the current time. My uh, training at university provided the foundation knowledge I needed. Uh, the teaching of the Jesuits taught me to ask difficult questions and to seek answers. It also taught me to listen and then when necessary take charge and move. Uh, St. Louis, Louis University was a foundation for almost five decades of work in aviation and space. My wife and I have been very blessed uh, throughout our entire uh, marriage. Uh, we just celebrated our 50th anniversary and in recognition of that anniversary, we established a family foundation. Uh, we built a cabin for the YMCA up at uh, Snow Mountain in Colorado. Uh, we have contributed to two homes at Habitat for Humanity in uh, La Porte, Texas. We've got scholarships at the high school in Toledo, Ohio, Central Catholic High School. And the sale of my memorabilia is benefiting the building fund at True Cross Church in Dickinson, Texas. No, I've never rubbed the uh, Billiken's belly, but uh, we had a photographer in Mission Control, Pat Patneski, who uh, had a very bald head. And uh, one mission that was, we were having a very, very, very difficult time. I said, come on up here, Pat. And I said, lean over, and he leaned over provided his head to me, and then I rubbed his head. And this became a tradition of, uh, in mission control, uh, whenever I took counsel in there, that I'd always ask uh, Pat to come over and I'd rub his head, just like uh, many of you have rubbed the belly of the billikin. In Apollo 13, the initial report came from Jack Swigert, and the two were very similar. Uh, I believe he said, Houston, we've had a problem. And Jim Lovell, moments later, called down with almost exactly the same word, in Houston, we've got a problem. And I believe this basically addresses the discontinuity uh, that you hear in the various reports you see in the media. But the initial report came from Jack Swigert, and it must have been about 10 seconds later from Jim Lovell. 